getting a little comfortable here. I am so excited to see those beautiful faces. I am so excited to read this story called Mongo's Gift to You. Mongo is a little boy and he has a beautiful big smile that everyone likes to look at. But before we get into the story, let's sing our hello song. Okay, on a count of three. One, two, three. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, butterflies, how are you? Ah, you all sound so good out there. Now, as I mentioned before, we have a story called Mongol's Gift. And it's not chapter reading. We get to read the entire story. Ah! I'm so excited. Go get a blanket, go into your room, or you can go into your family room. Grab a friend or a family member, go ahead and get comfortable, and let's read Mungo's Gift. <laughs> Mungo's Gift by Lorado Trulk, Rofiwa Mudau, Shabrak Munini. Baltalog Village was a dull African village where nothing interesting had happened before. Until one day when an unusual child was born, Baby Mungu had a full set of teeth. Local villagers flocked to Mama Mungu's home to witness this miracle. With a big smile, Mungo brought happiness to the village. Soon, Mungo's parents realized he was a gifted child. By the time he was six months old, he could walk, read books, and paint pictures. Mungo painted the same picture over and over. His mother realized that they needed to find the place in his paintings. They left the village and started their journey. The villagers who loved Mongol's smile decided to follow them. They traveled for many days, walking through forests, over streams, and past big mountains. Finally, they reached Mongol's special place it looked exactly like his paintings. They got to work setting up a new village, a village where everyone was happy. When Mongol was old enough, he became the king of this colorful village. Mongol's kingdom of happiness grew and became known near and far. He was the king who made his people smile. Mungo's gift. The end. <gasps> oh my goodness, he became a king. Mungo was so special and unique. You know we all are very special and unique. We look different, we talk differently, we walk differently. But that's what makes us special. You know what beautiful butterflies? A smile can just cheer up someone's day. It can even make you feel good. You know what I was always told, especially by my parents and my grandmother, they would say, Kyra, in the morning, you should look at yourself in the mirror and just smile and say something very positive about yourself. When you say something positive about yourself, those are called affirmations. You can say, I am worthy, I am special, I am nice, I am smart. And you see, when he smiled at other people, it made them smile too. And then he became king. People wanted to be around him. People always want to be around someone who's kind, who's smart, and who treats them very nice. Remember what we talked about? Treating others how you would like to be treated. <laughs> Until next time, I have another special surprise for you all, but I can't tell you just yet. You're going to have to tune in for another special Kyra's Corner. Take care, beautiful butterflies, and remember, treat others how you would like to be treated. 
talk to you all soon. Mm -hmm. Bye. If you would like to see another episode of Kyra's Corner, please subscribe and click like. I can't wait to see you beautiful butterflies again. Remember, be kind to each other and be kind to yourself. Bye.